what's up guys and welcome to part 4 of tutorial series on how to train custom document classifier with aws component service in the previous tutorial we have successfully trained the classifier that is c1 in my case right and in this tutorial we are going to create the test document for performing the classification uh, or the unseen data right using the classifier that we have trained in the previous tutorial so let's get started so probably uh, we can submit the test documents in two formats right so basically the first one is one document per file right and another is one document per line so that is what we have created uh, as the testing data right so this is basically the one document per line so basically in one document per file each file contains one input document right which is uh, basically uh, best suited for collection of large documents right such as uh, newspaper articles or probably the scientific papers right and in one document per line each line is considered as a document as we can see in our case right in the training set so basically uh, each line is considered as one document and it belongs to a certain class right that is uh, tech business or politics right so uh, we are going to use the second format right uh, that will be one document per line but in case if you want to use one document per file so it's nothing but the uh, you need to create multiple files for each of the articles right within the directory and you can uh, reference the path of the directories uh, while creating the classification job so probably um, I will try to cover that one document per file in the upcoming one of the tutorial right so let's get started so uh, this is the same script uh, that uh, we have used for creating the training file and the same script has been uh, pushed to github so you can uh, clone or copy that script from from that right so uh, as we know that uh, we had considered uh, th first 300 documents from each of the class right so we 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 have five class that is politics business sports tech and entertainment right so uh, in the uh, testing part uh, we are going to grab uh, unseen 10 documents from each of the class right so basically it will be a 50 document that we are going to classify or to test right so first two cells is basically uh, downloading the data set and unzipping it so uh, that we have did in the training part so we don't need to run it again right so we we'll start from here that is import statements and then another cell that is defining a data frame and, and the source path and the mapping right so uh, in this cell uh, if you can see here we have defined top uh, 300 documents from each of the directory right so now we are going to select next 10 documents right so basically after 300 so this will become uh, 300 to 310 right so it will it will pick up from 301 to uh, 310 right so the rest of the 10 documents after 300 right from each of the class so we will run this we'll simply say mapping dot keys here so again there are five class right and this again remains same so this is nothing but basically uh, we are reading the file right and appending it to a list and the label respectively right so now uh, in the testing set we don't need labels right so labels is something that our classifier will predict for our data right so we are going to comment this because we don't need this uh, for the testing purpose right so we are going to only pass the document not the label so la labels we will get uh, from the classifier classifier will predict for us right so I'm I had commented this label I will run this right so we can quickly have a look at the data so I can say df dot head 
so as you can see uh, this is what uh, we want to pass for classification right i will reshuffle uh, probably it's not required or mandatory right and i will say instead of train.csv i will say test.csv and we don't need index uh, as well as header right so i will simply save this so now our test.csv has been created now we can have a look right here it is so it's taking a while to open so this is what our uh, test.csv looks like right just let's make sure that uh, how many documents are there since we have picked up 10 documents from each of the class right so here i will simply print df dot shape right so as you can see uh, we we have uh, picked up 50 documents right so now uh, we have successfully created test.csv right so let's also create one truth file right uh, with the with the labels and the document mapped right so so once we classify the document using the test file we can validate that uh, whether it has uh, correctly classified the document or not right whether the classifier has not sorry whether the classifier have classified the document correctly or not right so what we will do here is we will simply uh, uncomment this label right i will run this we don't need to reshuffle the data and instead of test.csv i will say test underscore truth dot csv right now the file has been created Oops. so yeah so here it is right so 10 documents from each of the classes so basically uh, this will work as a truth table for us right so yeah i mean uh, that's it for now so i will uh, push the code uh, on the github so you can just uh, have a reference from there for creating the uh, test file and the uh, truth for the test file right so probably in the next tutorial uh, we will use the test file that we, we have just created right to classify the document using custom train model or cla classifier right so well uh, that's it for now uh, if you want me to do the tutorial on any specific service or use case you have then please leave them in comment uh, i will try my best to come up with the tutorial for the same and if you have any queries or comments then please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time thanks for watching